Ah, Australia, the land of deadly creatures, where the sea is filled with sharks and box jellyfish, and the land is crawling with snakes and spiders. Beautiful, isn't it? But beware of the most deadly of them all, the funnel web spider. With venom that can claim your life in just 15 minutes, these arachnids are not to be underestimated. But do you truly know all there is to know about these deadly creatures? Welcome to the land of the deadly funnel web spider, where 35 species roam the eastern coast of Australia, from New South Wales to Queensland. But beware, there is one spider that reigns supreme as the world's deadliest. The Atrax robustus, also known as the Sydney Funnel Web Spider, can be found lurking in the suburban streets and bushland of the area bounded by Newcastle to the north and Illawarra to the south. This menacing creature has become a part of Sydney folklore, instilling fear among the locals. With 13 recorded deaths and numerous medically serious bites to its name, this spider is not to be underestimated. The male Atrax robustus is the one responsible for all these attacks, and it's not hard to see why. These spiders are fairly large, with large, rearward-facing fangs that can pierce through fingernails with ease. One male, affectionately named Big Boy by the Australian Reptile Park, has been recorded reaching a staggering 10 centimeters when stretched out. But the Atrax robustus isn't just deadly, it's also striking in appearance. With a black, shiny, and hairless front, and a black or dark plum tummy, this spider is a sight to behold. The females of the species are mostly sedentary, staying in burrows with entrances surrounded by the species' distinctive funnel webbing, which is often found beneath rocks or logs in suburban gardens and scrubland but it's the males that you have to watch out for. As the summer rains begin to fall, the males of the species become more active, wandering in search of females. This is when most people come into contact with them. Active at night and overly sensitive to sunlight, these spiders roam at night in search of a mate. Even if they are unsuccessful in their search, Ranger Mick at the Australian Reptile Park warns that they look for somewhere sheltered to wait out the day, and this is when they end up in people's shoes or houses. But it's important to note that these spiders are not sneaking up on you or attacking attacking you. It's just an appealing option for shelter. But due to their proclivity to enter suburbia, Ranger Mick advises people to be cautious. Wear gloves when gardening, inspect your shoes before putting them on, and avoid strolling around shoeless. As you know by now, the spider is one of the most venomous in the world, and it's important to be able to identify it. You probably don't know how to do that, but don't worry, we've got you covered. Here are a few key characteristics to look for to help you identify this spider. First of all, they'll have a gleaming outer shell, a deeply curved groove, no obvious body pattern, closely spaced eyes, four spinnerets, with the largest having a last segment that is longer than it is wide. Short, blunt spines adorning the lower lip or labium, and a male second leg modification, usually with a mating spur or grouped spines. But there's one characteristic that sets the Atrax robustus apart from the rest. The genus Atrax, which includes the Sydney funnel web spider, has an obvious conical projection or spur on the lower side of the middle segment, or the tibia of the second leg, about halfway along. This is a feature that is unique to the Atrax robustus. Males of all other funnel web species have either a blunt or spine-covered tibial swelling or only a few spines on the second leg. Also, keep an eye out for the male's mating organ on the palp. Now you have a general idea about them and what to look out for, but where specifically will you find them? Danger lurks in the lush forests and highlands of Australia's east coast from Tasmania to North Queensland, and even in the dry and open forests of the western slopes of the Great Dividing Range and the Gulf Ranges of South Australia. These spiders are not limited to just one area, and the genus Atrax funnel webs have a much smaller distribution than the more diversified members of the genus, Hadronicae. But the star of the show is none other than the Sydney funnel web spider, Atrax robustus. This venomous creature can be found in the suburbs of New South Wales from Newcastle to Nowra and as far west as Lithgow. In Sydney, they can be found primarily in the moist upland forest areas of the Hornsby Plateau to the north and the Woronoro Plateau to the south, where protected burrow habitats flourish in both bushlands and gardens. But don't be fooled by the dry, flattened areas of western Sydney and the Cumberland Plain, as these areas have very few funnel webs. However, their numbers increase again in the Blue Mountain foothills. The Sydney funnel web spider and the southern tree-dwelling funnel web spider are both common in the Sydney area. And here's a fun fact. Even though Sydney funnel webs were never confined to the leafy North Shore region, Sydney real estate does provide a rough guide to funnel web density. The more costly the area, the higher the funnel web population. You have been warned. Now that you know what and where to look for, it's time to be on high alert. These funnel web spiders can kill, and death can occur in just 15 minutes. 
The atracotoxin protein found in their venom is directly to blame for the venom's severe effects on the nervous system, including shortening nerve synapses and halting the relaxation cycle. This causes constant nerve firing or fibrillation, resulting in a variety of symptoms such as rapid heartbeat, high blood pressure, trouble breathing, and loss of feeling around the mouth. According to Dr. Robert Raven, curator of arachnids at the Queensland Museum, these spiders are not only lethal due to the content of their venom, but also due to their proximity to humans. With Sydney having the highest population of both funnel web spiders and people, the risk of a bite is alarmingly high. And because no tourniquet can be applied to the torso, it is the most dangerous place to be bitten. But did you know, they never meant to be this way. The funnel web spiders are a strange and mysterious creature, with their diet consisting of a variety of small invertebrates, mainly millipedes. But why have they developed a toxin capable of killing a healthy human within an hour? The answer lies in evolution. According to Ranger Mick, the venom of these spiders is highly effective on two groups, invertebrates and primates. It's just bad genetics. The funnel webs didn't evolve to attack humans. The venom has totally opposite effects on the two groups, paralyzing invertebrates and causing fibrillation in primates. But here's some good news for pet owners. Animals such as cats and dogs can survive just fine with a funnel web bite. Their bodies neutralize the toxin in about half an hour. Birds are no different. Ranger Mick suggests that if you have a lot of funnel webs, get some chickens to eat them. Don't let fear take over just yet. There is some good news. The Commonwealth Serum Laboratories developed an anti-venom for the Sydney funnel web spider for medical use in 1981. Since its implementation, there have been no deaths caused by the venom of this spider. The anti-venom was developed by Dr. Stroon Sutherland and his team, and it has also been used successfully in cases of mouse spider and venomation. The Australian Reptile Park's Funnel Web Venom Milking Program provides much of the venom for the development of this anti-venom, and it is available at major metropolitan and regional hospitals. But don't let the availability of the anti-venom make you complacent. Proper and prompt first aid is still required for funnel webs and venomation. The suggested first aid technique is pressure and immobilization, which should be applied as soon as possible. This technique compresses surface tissues and lessens muscle movement, causing lymphatic flow to slow significantly. If you or someone you know gets bitten by a spider, it's important to start the pressure and immobilization technique as soon as possible. A pressure bandage should be applied starting at the bitten area and adhering to the entire limb above the bite. This should be applied as firmly as for a sprained ankle, and a rigid splint should be bound onto the limb to prevent limb movement. The affected person should be kept as quiet as possible, and medical help should be requested. If possible, try to keep the spider for proper evaluation. Remember, proper first aid and the availability of antivenom can make all the difference in a spider bite emergency. So beware, the funnel web spiders are deadly and can strike at any time. Keep an eye out for the telltale signs of their presence and always be prepared for the worst. Remember, these arachnids are not to be underestimated. See you next time.